What's going on, everybody? Happy St. Patty's Day. That's right, this is Augie's St. Patrick's Day 2011 Spectacular. All right, it's not really spectacular, but it's a special St. Patty's Day Irish Guinness themed video. Why? Because we're reviewing some Guinness, the most popular, the most known Irish beer. But we're not just reviewing one Guinness, we're reviewing three Guinnesses. We're going to start off with the Guinness Draft in the Nitro can. This is the same Guinness you find on tap everywhere. This is the smoother, easier to drink one, and it uses a nitrogen system. Which is why I'm letting it sit, because the nitro is what creates the head and does all that stuff. It's real creamy, it's real good. We'll get to that in a second. That'll be first. While that sits, we look at this guy. This is the Guinness Extra Stout. This is the most known uh, stout other than this one. This is relatively available everywhere. It's a traditional stout. It's thicker, it's richer, it's roastier, it's, it's all that good stuff. And finally, we're going to get to the Guinness Foreign Stout. Foreign Stouts are the same kind of stout, just brewed a little bigger, a little more alcohol, a little richer, a little more kick because it was meant to survive long trips across seas, hence the name Foreign Stout or Export Stout. So that's what it is, guys. Guinness, St. Patty's Day 2011, March 17th, Huggies Beer Reviews, Special Edition, and I think this is settled. So there's not much to say here. I mean, everybody has seen, has seen a pint of Guinness before, you know? And these cans, they have a little nitro widget in there. Um, the bottles, when you get the draft, the bottle also has that little thingy in there, which makes it actually 14.9 fluid ounces. So it's not a proper pint, but what can you do? But it's St. Patty's, man. It's Guinness, it's Irish, it's good. The head is just thick and creamy. The head is real, I mean, the nose is real tame, not a lot of smell to it, but it's just a good, rich, simple beer. So, you know, there's no, there's like, I can actually count like half a dozen bubbles and that's it. You gotta love what the nitrogen can do to these beers. It makes it so creamy and rich, so I'm just drinking. Cheers and happy St. Patty's. It's thin. It drinks really easy because there's not a lot of heft in the body. On the back end, you get kind of like those roasty notes, but it just has a richness and a creaminess that you just can't beat. And almost every beer that has um, that has nitro is going to be creamy like that. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, this is only 4.2 alcohol by volume. Actually, on the can it says per 12 ounces, you get 125 calories. 9.9 .9 grams of carbs, 0.3 grams of protein, and no fat. Actually says it on the can now. Cool stuff. Um, but that's it, man. Guinness Draft. If you enjoy Guinness on tap, this is the same thing, same nitrous, same rich, creamy deliciousness that's easy to drink. But you know what? I'm not going to finish all that. Not yet, anyway, because this is still the special edition extravaganza video. So, I'll be right back. Sit right there. Okay, glad you didn't go anywhere, because we're back. Time for beer number two. Here we go, guys. Guinness Extra Stout, okay? This is a traditional, the original Guinness Extra Stout, and this is a 22-ounce bottle of it. Um, this is, again, after the draft, which is available everywhere, and it's the one you find on tap. This is the one you find in six packs and in these bombers all across the country. They're everywhere in my neck of the woods because these are real popular in the Caribbean, um, Jamaica, and stuff like that. They really love Guinness Stout, so you find these everywhere. But, I mean, I've been drinking these since back when I was still drinking malt liquor in Heineken. You know, I like me some Guinness. This is darker, richer, more of a traditional stout. For you folks who know your beer, all right, and uh, of course it's a pop off, but that's a cool cap. That's going on my fridge. I'm gonna save it. So here's what we do. We got a Guinness Stout. We got a British pint glass. We got a big lighter. We no longer have a cap on the bottom. 
because it's St. Patty's Day. You gotta do it right. You gotta drink some Guinness. This is 6% alcohol by volume, the original extra stout is. We got the back, backpipes uh, going off in the background. And in case anybody's wondering where I got the music from, it's on YouTube. It's a Celtic music compilation. All right. So now, take a look at that. You can see the head is, is more of a brownish color. It's darker. It's like a regular beer. There's no nitro in here. This is regular foam, regular yeast, you know, regular fermentation. You know, it's dense and frothy, but uh, there's still bubbles, you know, it's, it's your typical fizzy good beer head. You know, the beer is black, you can't see through this thing. You know, this is a thicker, richer stout as opposed to the nitro stout. Traditionally an Irish dry stout, if I'm not mistaken. But again, in the nose you get roasted malts, you get hints of coffee, hints of chocolate. Maybe a little earthiness from the hops, but I mean, it's just, it's the stout that started it all. So, again, keeping it quick, getting right to the point, getting right to the beer, because you know, it's St. Patty's, man. Once again, cheers, and happy St. Patty's Day. It has a more bitter finish. The bitterness from the roasted moths, you know, that astringency, it comes through along with the hops. It's not a hoppy beer by any means, but the hops are there on the back end to give you that bitterness and kind of clean it out, you know? And you just get, you know, it's like it's like dark chocolate, you know? It's, it's chocolatey and it has that sweetness to it, but it's bitter at the same time, you know? Little hints of dark chocolate, hints of coffee, roasted malts, rich, delicious, you know, the body is, is like a strong medium, medium leaning to full, you know? Not exactly the kind of beer you want to drink on a hot, sweaty summer day. I mean, I'm doing it, but hey, I live in Florida, it's always a hot, sweaty summer day. So, that's good stuff. That's good stuff, man. Again, this extra stout, 6%, darker, richer, not as creamy or as thin or as easy to drink, let's say, as the draft, but still a good, rich, traditional Irish dry stout. Emphasis on the dry. It is kind of dry on the palate, a little bitter on the finish, not full body, but approaching it. Still good, solid, 6%. And we have one left, which I've never had before, because I've drank a lot of this. I've drank a lot of this. I've never had this guy. I bought that the other day, that pack. So, stay there. We're gonna finish this up in a second, all right? Don't move, it's St. Patty's Day. Can't go anywhere, gonna drink Guinness. All right, we're back, you're still there, it's still St. Patty's Day, we're still drinking Guinness. So, this is the one I've been waiting for. Matter of fact, let's see, can we do this? No, actually it doesn't matter. But a little, let's see, yeah, four and extra stuff, so yeah, that's the shirt. I saw a Guinness shirt, I had to buy it to me. But it was perfect for the occasion. We're going to break out the Guinness for an extra. Another Guinness pint glass. And like I said, I've never had this one, man. This is a Euro bottle, it's 11.2 fluid ounces. And again, a foreign stout or an export stout is your traditional stout, but brewed a little bigger, a little higher in alcohol, you know, because it helps preserve it on those long sea trips. That's how it used to be, you know, by sea, everything used to take forever. Um, well, it still takes a long time, but now we have planes, but anyway. So, this one is actually 7.5% alcohol by volume. You can tell the difference. 4.2, 6 even, 7.5. Maybe that's why they only sell it in a four pack, I don't know. But again, take a, a close look at this guy again. Guinness, foreign stout, or foreign extra, yeah. And Another cool different Guinness cap, which I don't have, which I'm going to keep. So, this is how this works. Big lighter. Ooh, smoky. All right. That's two Guinness caps. All right. So. Hmm. Yeah. 
you know, Guinness is a very commercial beer, very uh, popular worldwide. They are a macro in, you know, global terms, but, you know, it's, it's, it's not a crappy beer. This is still a quality brew, even though it's, you know, it's, it's known the world over. So, you know, I, I really like Guinness. I, I hold it in respect, you know, they haven't been bought out yet, if I'm not mistaken, you know, so, you know, the Irish, the Irish keep this, uh, they keep their shit together with their Guinness. Gotta love them. Anyways, for an extra stout. It looks much like the export stout, same color. The head is the same color, same frothy, bubbly consistency. Um, head's gone down on this, so uh, let's see. Yeah, man. I mean, if, if you just poured them in a the glass and told me, you know, look at it and pick which one's which, I couldn't do it. I'm not going to lie to you. So, let's see. Hmm. More sweetness. Kind of a, kind of maybe like a cherry licorice sweetness. Damn, bagpipes. Maybe you think of like a police funeral or something. Alright. Hmm. But yeah, there is like a licorice, like a licorice sweetness. I'm thinking maybe cherries too, but it's licorice and, and like dark fruit, like like plums and prunes. That's what comes to mind. Hints of dark chocolate. Mm, smells good though. Yeah, it, it smells a lot different than the uh, than the extra stout. So let's taste it. So once again, cheers. Happy St. Patty's. Oh wow. This one, and I haven't given you the beer, I haven't get ratings on these beers this time around. I'm not gonna bother because for the most part these two are so popular world over there's there's so many reviews, they're so easy to find, they're so accessible. I'm not gonna bother with ratings. Police funeral's over. Um, but this one, since it's a little harder to find, a little rare to find in the States, um, I did check and this gets like an A across the board. This is highly rated, and I understand why. Mm. It has it has the, the roasted malt qualities, you know, that dark chocolate, that hint of coffee, that astringency, that dryness. It's a really dry finish with some hoppy bitterness towards the end, but there's this undercurrent of those dark fruits, that like licorice -y, dark fruit kind of thing that completely changes the flavor profile from this guy. You can tell from the first sip I can tell this is higher in alcohol. It's not boozy but it's noticeable. I mean it doesn't stand out. It's not like the alcohol burns or it's not like it jumps out and says hey I'm alcohol I'm here. No it's not that obvious. <laughs> it doesn't jump out and slap you but you know there's a difference. You can taste it but that doesn't keep it from being good. This, this is a good beer to just have, just the one beer, just to enjoy a beer, maybe even after dinner, kind of works as a dessert beer. Um, the body is, is approaching full. I mean, it's relatively rich, it's good stuff. Yeah. Mm. And it leaves this bitter aftertaste. It's like an earthy hop mixed with like dark chocolate. You know, when it's like 70, 80% dark chocolate, you know, that kind of thing. That kind of bitterness. Oh, that is good. That is good. All right, so I'm not reviewing these two because they're too general. This is a glass full for a foreign stout, hands down. Um, this is the nectar of the gods. I mean, I'm a craft beer lover, I'm an IPA lover, you know, but this is the kind of beer that I could just drink forever because it, it has flavor, but it's rich and creamy and smooth and light and it, it's heaven in a glass, it really is. And this is a damn good stout, but this, for what it is, foreign stout, export stout, solid. Solid and worth a try. If you like either of the other two Guinnesses and you come across 
and you come across this guy, pick it up and try it. It's worth it. Alright? But, it's St. Patty's Day. There's no way I'm leaving all this beer on the table. But, I have to make some adjustments. I'll be right back. So don't go, because we're riding out with a bang. Alright, we're going to ride this out the proper way. That's right. So I had to change wardrobe again because you got a party. You got to do it like the Irish. You got to rock the green. You got to drink some Guinness. It's St. Patty's Day, all that shit. St. Patrick's 2011. We've drank some Guinness. We've reviewed it. We've tried it. We've explained it. We've talked about it. Now we're just going to fucking drink it. So, I'll start with the Guinness draft. This little fucker, 14.9 ounces pasteurized stout. So, 14.9 plus 22. Is it 22? It is 22, right? Yeah, one pint, which is 16 ounces, six fluid ounces. So 16 plus six, 22 ounces. So 14.9 plus 22 plus 11.2. I'll help you out here. 48.1 ounces of Guinness. I love the foam on this fucker. Uh, for what it's worth, I was at this place, Matt from Matt's Beer Reviews. He's a local. We hung out the other night. Went to this place called Stage 84. They had on tap the uh, left hand sawtooth ale. It's an American pale ale, but with nitro. Oh, a hoppy American pale ale with that creaminess that you get from the nitro. Unbelievable. Old Speckled Head, another British beer, has nitro. I love that shit too. I love what nitro, what nitrogen does to these beers. That's that. Now, onto this guy. This may be a little more challenging. I'm not going to be able to keep all this shit under 10 minutes. What can I do? You know? But considering the fact there's three different beers, it's a review. It's a St. Patty Spectacular. I mean, it's 48 ounces of Guinness. I think y'all might forgive me if I uh, run over. <sighs> Tell you, man. Guinness is a good beer. Guinness is a good brand. Guinness is a good company. And I've had, I've had four of their beers. Because you got, you got three of them here. But they also did a special uh, 250th anniversary stout a couple years ago. It's like early, uh, early 09 or mid 09, something like that. I had it in bottle and on tap and I wasn't thrilled. But, they were experimenting as an anniversary beer. I'm not mad at them for it. I got a major Guinness burp that's coming up, but doesn't want to come out. Fuck me, all right, fuck it. You know, we used to say, I believe, well, I guess in Ireland, or maybe in England, I don't know, in Europe. Guinness is a meal in a glass. Because it's thick, it's rich, it's hearty, it's all that shit. I don't think I'm having dinner tonight. St. 
St. Patty's Day. What does it mean to me? Drunkenness. Drinking Guinness. Four leaf clovers and wearing green. Remember when you were a kid and you went to school, you got pinched if you didn't wear green. Somebody always used to try to get it by. They didn't wear green, but they tried to get away with it because they had like a little little green thing on their watch or on their shoes, a little touch of green somewhere. Sneak motherfuckers. It doesn't work like that. You wear green, damn it. I'm wearing green. This ain't all liquor, this ain't a lager, this is a little tougher to put down, this is rich. But, you know, you do what you can. Let me give a couple non-YouTube uh, related shout outs. My homeboy Jay, God love him. My boy, his birthday was uh, on the 12th, March 12th. What's up, man? Happy birthday, related. Um, my homegirl Hannah, her birthday is on the 18th, tomorrow. What's up, baby? Happy birthday. Love you guys. This is my two best friends right there. Um, March 9th, um, you know, it was a week ago already, but that's when Biggie died. That always sucks. I had an extra birthday was on March 9th. That's why I never forget it. All right, 48 ounces of Guinness. This is all we have left. Let's see if we can pull this off. That's better. This is 7.5 percent. I don't recommend that anybody try this shit at home. As far as chugging it, drinking it fast, you know? Um, for a lot of you lightweight drinkers, this may do some damage. I don't mind so much. Most of the IPAs I drink are about 7.5%, so it's all good. Stay tuned, guys. Oh, man. Am I out of music? Oh, that sucks. I think I'm out of music, dude. I need to hurry up and finish this. I was gonna give some more shout outs and, and some previews of what's coming, but fuck it. I'm out of music. I ran long. But there you go. Guinness Rats. Guinness Extra Step. And Guinness Foreign Extra Step. Reviewed and drank. 48.1 ounces of Guinness. Happy St. Patrick's Day. That's what happens if you drink 48 ounces of Guinness. Happy St. Patrick's Day 2011, March 17th. Hoggies Beer Review. It is what it is. This is all good stuff. And I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks.